Hey and welcome back to the problem from conditional trigonometric identities. In the given question, we'll start from left hand side, which is given as sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c, all divided by sine a plus sine b plus sine c. And we are supposed to prove 8 sine a by 2 into sine b by 2 into sine c by 2. Let's start by first comparing the first two terms from the numerator that is sine 2 a plus sine 2 b as in the formula sine c plus sine d and we can express that in the form 2 sine c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 and in place of c we have 2a and in place of d we have 2b so numerator becomes 2 sine 2a plus 2b divide by 2 into cos 2a minus 2b divide by 2. Now the third term of the numerator that is sine 2c can be expressed into another formula of the trigonometry that is sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta into cos theta. As you know, when there is 2 theta with sine, on the left hand side it can be expressed half the angle on right hand side so we'll do the same here sine 2c can be written as 2 sine c into cos c all divided by now the first two trigonometric ratios of the denominator will be compared with the same first formula and we can write that as 2 sine a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2. And similarly, we can compare sin c with the second formula and write that as 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2. Now, continuing the step, we can take common 2. So we write 2 sine 2 as common a plus b inside the bracket divide by 2 into cos 2 common a minus b inside the bracket divide by 2 plus and the rest of the term we copy same that is 2 sine c into cos c whole divide by in the denominator, we write all same. That is 2 sine a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 plus 2 sine c by 2 into cos c by 2. Now, cancelling these two and two in the angle side, from both sine and cos, we get 2 sine the remaining a plus b into cos once again a minus b inside the bracket plus now the rest of the components once again we copy same that is 2 sine c into cos c whole divide by 2 sine a plus b divided by 2 into cos a minus b divided by 2 plus 2 sine c by 2 into cos c by 2. Now let's change the sine a plus b using the given information that is a plus b plus c is equal to pi radian. When c is taken on the right side, it will be pi radian minus c and keeping sine on both sides. Following the cast rule, we get sine a plus b is equal to sine c. So we'll change this accordingly. And in the same way, changing from the denominator 
sin a plus b whole divided by 2 from the information a plus b plus c is equals to pi radian where all of the angles will be divided by 2 and c by 2 will be taken on the right hand side. Now keeping sign on both sides, we get the result as cos c by 2. So in the next step, we will be changing sine a plus b into sine c and sine a plus b whole divided by 2 as cos c by 2. So doing the same, let's continue. Now we get 2 sine c in place of sine a plus b into cos a minus b which was our remaining term plus 2 sine c into cos c that came from utilizing the information whole divide by 2 times cos c by 2 in place of sin a by 2 plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 as seen from above plus 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2. Now, we can continue this taking common from both the parts of the numerator, which is 2 sin c. So taking 2 sin c common, we get cos a minus b inside the bracket from the first part plus cos c remaining from the second part. Whole divide by once again we take 2 times cos c by 2 common from both the parts and there remains cos a minus b by 2 from the first part plus sin c by 2 from the second part. Cancelling this 2 and 2, which is common. Now, we can continue the next step as sin c bracket cos a minus b plus. Now, we can write this cos c replacing by minus cos a plus b. Using the information, we know a plus b plus c is equals to pi radian. When c is taken on the right hand side, it will be pi radian minus c. And if we keep cos on both sides, we will get cos a plus b is equal to minus cos c. Since we have plus cos c here, taking this minus sign in front of cos a plus b, we can write this as minus cos a plus b. Similarly, in the denominator, first of all writing cos c by 2 as same inside the big bracket, the first part is cos a minus b by 2 and this sine c by 2 can be compared with cos a plus b whole divided by 2 is equal to sin c by 2 using the information. Now, as we can see, sin c by 2 can be replaced by plus cos a plus b whole divided by 2. Now, the components inside the bracket in the numerator can be changed as by the formula. Similarly, the denominator can also be changed 
by the given formula as cos a minus b minus cos a plus b, which was in the numerator side, can be replaced by the formula 2 sin a into sin b. So writing the same, we get sin c into 2 sin a into sin b in the numerator. Similarly, the components inside the big bracket in the denominator can be compared with the formula cos a plus b plus cos a minus b, which can be expressed as 2 times cos a into cos b. Since the angles in the denominator were half times a and half times b, we write in the same way and we get 2 times cos a by 2 into cos b by 2. Now, numerator can be written as 2 sin a into sin b into sin c whole divided by denominator can be written as 2 times cos a by 2 into cos b by 2 into cos c by 2. Since our answer must be expressed only in the sign form, let's change the numerator using the formula sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta. So sin a can be written as 2 times sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 when we compare this with the formula we express the rest of the trigonometric ratios in the numerator in the same way and sin b can be written as 2 times sin b by 2 into cos b by 2 into sin c can be written as 2 times sin c by 2 into cos c by 2. Whole divide by, we have the denominator as 2 times cos a by 2 into cos b by 2 into cos c by 2. Now let's cancel the common from the numerator and denominator, which are 2 and 2, cos a by 2 and cos a by 2, cos b by 2 and cos c by 2 from both the sides. Now, finally, it remains 2 into 2 into 2, which will be equal to 8, and the remaining trigonometric ratios, sin a by 2, sin b by 2, and sin c by 2, which are the trigonometric ratios to be on the right hand side of the equation. Hence, here we complete our solution. I hope you enjoyed the step by step solution. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.